Cancer prevention. It takes vitamin, mineral, and essential fatty acid supplementation beyond just vitamin D. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, vitamin D has become very popular lately as an anti-cancer nutrient. It has many anti-cancer properties that's well documented. But that doesn't mean you should ignore the other vitamins and minerals and essential fatty acids that also have known value uh, in terms of their cancer protective effects. So let me give you some examples. You know, when you get enough calcium in your body, it's been shown to be linked to a reduction of risk, particularly of colorectal cancer, which is the second leading cause of cancer death. In fact, your body can only absorb up to 40% of all the calcium that you put in. But the 60% of calcium that stays in your intestinal tract can bind to bile acids and prevent them from becoming cancer-causing secondary sterols. Studies have shown, these are random screening colonoscopy studies of the general public, that people that are getting 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams a day of calcium, um, either from food and or supplementation, but most of these people are taking some supplements to make that happen, upon random colonoscopy screening often have up to 25% lower risk of, of, of colon cancer developing compared to people who are not getting that kind of calcium intake. We've also seen studies in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute where people have already had their first bout of colon cancer with calcium supplementation as part of the follow-up strategy, decreasing the recurrence of colon cancer compared to the group that didn't get the calcium supplementation. Again, 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams seems to be the target. And then folic acid and vitamin B12, they're needed for, the, for your DNA basis to form properly and to have strong genetic links so they don't break easily. When you have low blood levels of folic acid or your B12 nutritional status falls off, we know the DNA linkages become more fragile, they break more easily, more mutations form, a much higher risk of cancer when you don't have optimal status of folic acid and vitamin B12. The average intake of folic acid from food each day is less than 200 micrograms. Studies show you need 400 to 600 micrograms to really get into the optimal range. As we get older, we absorb less vitamin B12, it becomes a problem, less acidity in the stomach. So getting a supplement each day that gives you these nutrients to me is invaluable. And then studies show that many higher blood levels and higher intake levels of many antioxidants are linked to a decreased risk of, of different types of cancers as well. And then we've seen that some antioxidants have been able to reverse precancerous lesions like atrophic gastritis, a precancerous condition of the stomach has been reversed with vitamin C supplementation. Cervical dysplasia, a precancerous condition of the cervix of the uterus, has been reversed with vitamin A and beta carotene supplementation. The same is true for uh, oral cavity uh, 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 pre-malignant cells called leukoplakia, it's a precancerous condition in the mouth, has been reversed with vitamin A and beta carotene supplementation. Men that have uncontrolled prostate cancer where the drugs are not treating it properly and the PSA is rising and it's spreading, Supplementation with lycopene has been shown to stabilize the disease. Also, vitamin C and vitamin E has been shown to be helpful in the same regard in conjunction with a low-fat uh, diet. With respect to the mineral selenium, it has many different ways it has anti-cancer properties. Higher blood levels are linked to a reduction of risk of certain cancers. And the same is true with essential fatty acids, taking a supplement each day with fish oil, flaxseed oil, and borash seed oil, help the body make prostaglandin series one and series three, slows down the rate of cell division, so there's fewer mutations, a lower risk of cancer developing. And then of course, we're back to vitamin D, which also slows down the rate of cell division and helps cells fully mature into adult cells. These things help reduce your risk of cancer. Your vitamin D level should be above. 85 nanomoles per liter in your blood. So what I'd like you to do is to click on the link below. You can see my review article of how these various vitamins, minerals, and essential fatty acids, when they've been used as supplements, help to reduce risk of, uh, risk of cancer. The truth is it takes more than just vitamin D supplementation to get the outcomes that you're looking for. So this review paper will give you a comprehensive look at how supplements have been used to manage a number of health conditions, including prevention of cancer and sort of the adjunctive nutritional management of cancer. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars. Other downloads and resources and videos I've created, they're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All of my review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references 
So you know you're going to get only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.